This week on the channel we are reviewing all of the newest Black Series figures from this wave. I was able to get these early and we already have some reviews up on the channel so if you haven't seen those already go check those out but today we are reviewing the Imperial Armored Commando from The Mandalorian. I'm sure you guys were all with me when these first showed up in the show and we all had the same thought which is that we wanted these in action figure form. It's been a bit of a wait but it, it is here. The box did get a little damaged during transit, but that's okay. I am an out-of-box collector. Now, there was a little bit of controversy when images first came out of this figure and that the helmet looked really small. And I have to say, in person, it is definitely feeling too small. But stay tuned to the end of the video because I think I have a fix for this that hopefully will be as popular as my Balin and Shin thigh swap video. The jetpack has a nice snug fit, and we are going to test this on the Glavis Ring World Mando later. The holster here has a feature that I don't really love, which is the little strap with the peg that just doesn't really work most of the time and that strap just kind of sits there. I tend to clip those off, but we will give that a little test. This is a cool looking pistol here. I think it's brand new, correct me if I'm wrong. I love being able to examine the props and costumes from the show in my own hand up close, even though they are just miniature, you just get so much more detail than you would just watching the show. And I have to say the little strap on the holster actually fits perfectly here. I had no trouble getting that in. So that one gets a pass from me. We have standard articulation at the elbow. And unlike Thrawn, we do have some butterfly joints at the the shoulders here but the armor does get a little bit in the way of this pose. The leg articulation is okay, I feel like it's pretty in line with what we've seen from recent figures. I do miss the thigh swivel here, it's definitely not there. It does have that new cut but it just, I, I don't know, I, I never feel like it really just gets at the same level of articulation as we had previously. You have some decent movement at the neck but again the helmet is just feeling so small. He does come with a rifle as well if you'd like to display him like that. I think this is a new sculpt as well. I awkwardly tried to get him into sort of like an aiming down the sides pose and it's just it wasn't really happening for me but I do think it looks really sick in this pose here and I'll probably have at least one of them displayed like this. I will probably pick up another one of these if not three more so I could have four. It's nice that we're getting this finale built out with the upcoming Moff Gideon and like the Praetorian Guard but for now we only have Mando and Paz Vizsla to compare him to from that actual episode. I guess some of the other characters like Bo-Katan and the armor could also be displayed with him but now let's look at him compared to some of the other troopers and once you see him with these other two on the shelf his helmet just looks even smaller than it did before like pretty inexcusably so so before we go any further i want to try an idea that i have i think this is going to help their proportions just a little bit something that i've kind of discovered over the years of doing customs i'm going to pop the head off just using force and then i'm going to dip this into a glass of water that's been heated up for one minute in the microwave this heats the plastic up and makes it much softer so you can pretty much just pull the peg out with your bare hands once it is heated I accidentally dropped the rifle in there, but I'll actually use that to show you how the plastic gets warmer. But this just pops right out with some needle nose pliers. I'm gonna let that dry. But look what happened to the rifle when it was in the hot water for just like 20 seconds. It gets really soft and flimsy. Now ideally you could just use a shorter neck peg that would fit, but if you don't have spares of those lying around, if you don't do a lot of customizing, I'm gonna use this black tag here. You can use a sticky tack of choice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the helmet back onto it. And you can see how just by lowering the helmet a little bit, it really fixes the proportions. It looks like this is actually a helmet on top of someone's head. It's still a little small, but I think overall it really helps. Let's look at a comparison here between this one and the original version. I really think it helps quite a bit. Even bringing in the other troopers, it doesn't look as goofy as it did before. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I've used this trick a few times when getting like custom head sculpts that are just a little bit too big or too small for a figure. Just by moving the neck up or down, you can actually fix a lot of those proportions. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if this jetpack here fits on the Glavis Ring World Mando since he does end up with one of these jetpacks in the show and yep it is a great fit here. Like usual the cape kind of gets in the way or either hides the jetpack but if you really want to display him from this scene on your shelf I'm sure you can find a way to make it work but it is nice to see that some forethought went into it here. I'm excited to add this guy to my Mandalorian shelf. It looks great so far and I'm really excited to get those other pipeline figures from the Mando finale. Maybe I'll go watch that tonight because this has kind of gotten me back in the mood. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We will be reviewing the rest of the figures in this wave. Let me know in the comments below if and how many of these you will be picking up and if you plan on doing that little neck fix. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.